very warm welcome to Jude Chi Living a Colourful Life, Pamper Time. So we're spending time looking after ourselves and personal pamper care and today we are focusing on how to care for our skin through the night. So I'm going to prepare with you a Midnight Magic Care Cream and it's going to be full of fabulously nurturing, nourishing, restorative oils so that as you sleep your skin is drinking them in and when you awaken in the morning and when you look in the mirror you will still feel your face nourished and soft. So it's a great time to be applying um, essential oils in carriers to your skin because as you sleep it's when we do our repair, it's when our cells and tissues get the time to rest and restore themselves. So that's our plan for today. So there is a little series of videos here on the personal pamper care and it's lovely if you want to just keep an eye on them because we're working from top to toe and we're still working in this area because it's such an important area. It's where we meet the world, it's where we smile at ourselves and it's where we smile at others. So it's a really, really important area for us to meet the world positively. And our needs are all here on my table and you've also got a list of them if you click the little arrow down the way at the side of the name of the video and everything will pop up and let you know what I'm using. So I have a few things around here. I have some aqueous cream, which you'll find a link for. I've already popped some in this little jar and I've got a whisk because I'm going to need to be whisking this up when I add the other ingredients. I have also got some sunflower oil because I'm going to use a little bit of that and also some vitamin E, which deeply nourishes the skin and I like to add that to any face products that I'm creating and I have three oils here that I'm going to use and they're chosen because they are particularly helpful for the structure of the skin, they're particularly helpful to bring about a balance on the, the skin so whether your skin is oily or dry or a combination then these oils are designed to absolutely meet the need of your skin. So I have three oils, some will be familiar because we use some of them in the face cream that we made earlier for daytime and one is rose, it's the queen of oils. What more do we need except an oil that allows our skin to be nourished like a queen overnight? So we're going to have some rose in there. If by any chance you absolutely dislike rose, there are many other options. You could have sandalwood in there, you could have jasmine. There are a number of oils that you could add which would still have a very similar effect. So it's totally fine to replace one of the oils I'm using with something else if it's not to your taste. So rose is a base note. It's the, the very deep kind of holding oil in this blend that we're going to be using on our face and we have lavender as the middle note because it really will be whatever you need. It uplifts anything that's underworking and it calms down anything that's overworking. So it cruises us along a middle line. So we're having a little bit of lavender and the magic ingredient of our face cream for nighttime or midnight magic is frankincense. Now frankincense has been used oh, in ancient, ancient times and in Egypt it was used in embalming, it was used as a wonderful elixir for the skin. So it's a wonderful addition to this nighttime blend. We're also adding some vitamin E which I mentioned earlier and we're also adding some sunflower oil. Now I use sunflower a lot in my practice because it is a light oil, it's very well and easily absorbed into the skin and I also feel that sunflower oil is a bright, optimistic, cheerful oil because the sunflowers pop their little faces up in the morning to the sun and they follow the sun all day long so they're totally bathed in this wonderful sunshine 
and the seeds feed the birds at the end of the season and I think they're the most happy, optimistic flowers imaginable so I love to use sunflower oil. So to this jar, um, I have half filled it or maybe just a little bit over half and it's really good to do that when you're creating a blend in a jar because it gives you plenty of space to do your whisking. If you fill it to the top, you will find that the oils very often start spilling over and that's not helpful. So let's start adding some ingredients. I want to add a little bit of vitamin E and you will find a link for that below. So I'm just going to pop some into this pot. There we are, that's about five, six drops. It's very thick, very resinous. Sometimes you get a little dropper pipette that you have to squeeze to, to add that to your blend. It turns a slight yellow colour as well because it's usually quite orangey in colour. So that's that in. I am going to add a tiny bit of sunflower oil. Now this is a really big job. I might recommend that you maybe pop some actually into maybe a teaspoon before you add it. Um, so, but I am so used to using this big pot that I am just going to add a tiny bit, probably about maybe 10 drops. And then I'm going to whisk that up a little. And it's amazing how it does just blend straight into the aqueous cream base. And then I'm going to add some oils. So Rose Maroc, um, this particular rose has already been diluted in grapeseed carrier oil. And that's really helpful because it means it doesn't overpower the blend, which Rose Absolute does. It's also much more affordable when you buy it already blended and it is easier to use. So I am going to add four drops of rose and I'm going to add three drops of lavender. So I've now got seven drops all together in there and I'm going to add two drops of frankincense. There we go. If you happen to overdrop and you find that you put in too many drops of something, it's not a disaster because what I find is that if you err on the less drops as you're making the blend, you allow yourself an opportunity to add more if you feel you need it. Whereas once the drops are in, you can't take them out. So I just now have got seven, what, nine drops in there just now. So I'm just going to whisk that up. Make sure I get into all the corners. That's the nice thing when you don't put too much in because there's plenty of room to do that. And let me just, oh, that's very beautiful. I've got the softness of the rose. There's a slight woodiness with the frankincense because it comes from a tree and the slightly fresh lavender actually I would say. The lavender definitely gives it a freshness but having it feels very smooth and satiny as I mix that with that extra bit of vitamin E and that bit of sunflower oil. I'm just going to close that top for safety <laughs> in case I knocked over. So there we are. Um, I think that's going to be fine. What I'm going to do is just take a little piece of that onto my hand and just check it out on the back of my hand and see that I feel I have enough essential oils in there. Always better to add less because you could even try it for a couple of nights and if you feel you just want something more you could just add a drop of whichever oil you need. I think I need another drop of rose in there. I'm losing the rose a bit. I'm getting the lavender and I'm getting the frankincense. It could be because this particular rose is quite a high percentage of carrier and a smaller percentage of the rose oil. So I'm going to drop a couple of drops in actually because I think that will be just what I need. And that will mean that when I do 
pick up the aroma of the blend, yeah, I do get the rose now. So just two drops made all the difference there. So I'm going to top up this little pot with some more of the aqueous cream. These are handy little spatulas. They're from, um, they're really for food making. They're for, um, often cake makers use these little spatulas. So there's a link for those below the channel video. So then I whisk, 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 make sure that it's all really, really well blended. Mm, that is absolutely gorgeous. And I'm gonna use that cream that's left on that whisk in just a moment. But I am going to pop a lid on my little pot. And the important thing, of course, is that we have a label. So I'm going to make sure that I write down that I had five drops of rose. This really helps me to learn what suits my skin and how many drops I want to have. And my lavender. And then my two of frankincense. So popping that little label on so that if I decided I needed to add more lavender or something after using it a few times, then it means I've got a record of what I actually used, which is really helpful. So that's the little label on. <coughs> now, let me just use this cream and show you a little um, tip and hint about popping your cream on. So I just warm it in my hands and I generally would cleanse my face and have some warm water on my face and leave my face slightly damp before I put this on at night. And then I literally just pat it into my skin. From the chin, up onto the cheeks, patting in, up onto the forehead. And it's as if I am literally warming my skin and encouraging these oils and all the nourishing vitamin E to open and fill into the pores, into my skin. So I don't do so much rubbing, I'm just persuading it. I also think that's quite a nice thing, persuading my skin to open up all around the mouth, even my lips. Oh, wow, that feels amazing. Now you could pop some onto your neck, working up your neck, but you do already have the option to make that lovely neck and chin oil, the face lifting one that I've already created in a video. So look out for that one. It's the second video in the series. So there we are. ready to rest, ready to let those oils work their magic overnight. And it's really the regularity of the practice of using the oils and really, really giving your skin that fabulous attention that makes all the difference. So as I just make sure I don't waste any of this and get that into my hands and into my wrists and arms, Thank you for sharing time with me. Thank you for learning about taking fabulous care of your face and your neck. And next we're moving on to smoothing and very, very helpful body oils to allow your body to feel every bit as fabulous as your face and your neck and your upper body does. So we're working our way down from top to toe personal pamper time. So I wish you a beautiful rest of day or rest of evening and thank you so much for joining Jude Chi Living a Colourful Life and do remember to subscribe for more. Thank you and bye bye.